their face becomes a little bit pink or even red. Often mistaken or misdiagnosed as acne. It can last a couple of minutes or it can actually go on for more than an hour. Redness, easy flushing, dilated invisible blood vessels. If you've been watching Olympic swimming recently, you've noticed some of the athletes' faces are turning red and even purple at the end of the races. And a lot of people have asked, why is this happening? Is there something in the water? And why is it only happening to athletes from certain countries? Americans have been called out, Australians, even from the UK. And what I want to do in this video is share with you exactly what's going on, bring in a few different scientific perspectives, dermatologists, and other credible experts in the field to share this. Because let me tell you guys, the commentary online has been wild. Literally questions have come up on Reddit as to why the swimmers' faces are turning red and purple, and there is some controversy and some drama, so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Have a respectful discussion and conversation. This Reddit article right here was even referencing something that I put together about what happens to your body when you swim and chlorine and how it impacts your skin. There is a lot to unpack in this video today, so what I want to do is go ahead and kick things off as to what happens to your body when you exert this kind of effort. And let's hear about it from a doctor. During your workout, your muscles use lots and lots of energy. And that energy becomes heat, and the heat builds up in your body. But if you accumulate enough heat from the energy from the muscles, the body temperature is going to go up. That's not good for you. So your body tries to regulate it and dissipate or get rid of that heat. And the way it does it is by expanding the blood vessels in your face. You see, those blood vessels carry a lot of blood. Their face becomes a little bit pink or even red. It can last a couple of minutes or it can actually go on for more than an hour. But let me reassure you, it's of absolutely no harm, no danger, nothing bad will happen. And it's just your body's way of trying to regulate your body temperature so that you don't overheat. That's why your face appears red. As soon as you've lost enough of that heat, the blood vessels return to their normal size and the redness goes away. As you can see here, some of the athletes are changing their color at the end of the session, at the end of the race, and they're not doing it because they want to. It's just happening. Now, you might be wondering, I circled this image here because look at her arm color. This is Reagan Smith from the United States, and look at her skin color. And I can understand why people have these questions. Why are some people, their skin color literally changes on their face, but not the rest of their body. Like, I get it, you're working out, your body's gonna turn a little bit red. This is almost like a purple here. Here's another example. Take a look at Adam Peaty. He is from the United Kingdom. This is Nick Fink from the United States. He looks, I mean, they just did the same race, 100 breaststroke. This is Chin Haiyang of China. And really just Adam Peaty is the one who looked like he had a hard workout. And everyone else, yeah, they're tired, but their face didn't completely change color. I mean, Adam Peaty, his whole body is basically red. Here's another image right here. This is Tori Hutz from the United States. Her face, whether you're watching this on TV or the stream, you know, maybe it looks a little bit more red or more purple depending on the color settings, but you cannot question the fact that she is tired, she is exhausted, and her face is definitely a different color than when she started the race. Even here is Sarah Hoistrom from Sweden. This is after she wins the 100 meter freestyle. Again, she's from Sweden and you can see the excitement on her face, but you can also see how much more pink and red her face is. Normally she's a lighter skin person. And at the end of the race, you can obviously see the fatigue. You can see the color change. Now, if you take a look at the online commentary, there have been a lot, maybe thousands of comments talking about this specifically, showing pictures of athletes from the United States, athletes from different countries, and calling accusation about taking performance-enhancing drugs, and that's why they're turning purple. And we need to have some respect, have some respect in the comments, because I mentioned the same thing with Pan Zan Lee of China. The man never tested positive, so don't accuse him of, of taking performance-enhancing drugs. None of the athletes in question, whether it's Reagan Smith, Tori Husk, any of these people, Adam Peaty, have ever tested positive, so innocent until proven guilty, regardless of what you think or say, make sure you ha check your bias at the door and don't be racist for the sake of singling out people because they look a certain way and they're winning races and they have a certain skin tone after the race. Have some respect. Here is another screenshot I got from Twitter showing the same athletes after these Paris games compared to a prior international competition. You can see all of a sudden now they are showing these different skin tones. And I think there's something else that no one's really talking about that we need to uncover. There are actually skin conditions. Now, I don't know these athletes personally if they have any of these skin conditions, but one actually affects females 
females more than males, and it affects people of a certain skin tone more than others. And we may have a few of those people on the USA Olympic team or even some other countries as well. And that is rosacea. And this is a skin disease. And no one better to explain this than a dermatologist themselves. And I'll have her do that right now. So rosacea is a chronic but treatable condition that primarily affects the face. I think people traditionally think of rosacea as manifesting on the skin as redness, easy flushing, dilated invisible blood vessels. But rosacea can encompass so much more than that. It can show up as pimples or little red bumps on the skin. So it's often mistaken or misdiagnosed as acne. It also includes things like skin sensitivity, burning sensation, stinging sensation, inability to tolerate a wide variety of topical products. Rosacea affects so many people. It's estimated that about 16 million Americans have rosacea and that about 5.5% of the global population is affected. If you can imagine 16 million Americans, and I actually did some more research and I found that females are two to three times more likely than males to have this specific skin condition. Now we can't pass judgment on people just because they finish a race and their face turns red or pink. We don't know what challenges they're overcoming with their skin routine. And we don't know if people have other things going on. So before you pass judgment and you say that someone's taking performance enhancing drugs because they have a certain skin tone, Remember to check yourselves and make sure you're not just being racist because you don't like the fact that this athlete from this country had a specific result. We saw this with Pan Zan Lee of China, and I had to squash all the rumors and all the different things, innocent until proven guilty. I'll say the same thing here again, and make sure you guys have some respect down below in the comments. Now, if you want to see my thoughts on that specific analysis, the first world record of these Paris Olympic Games, check out that video over here. I'll see you over there.